All right, so I need my 3010 and it's going to start one way or another. Crack or no crack. Um, let the three point arms down. Do not turn the lights on before you start it. You guys ever just like question work in the dark? Yeah, that's me. But you just gotta try and do the best that you can and make the best of it. Um, that's just all there is to it because if you don't at least try. Them darn birds up there. They like to get behind that door and make a nest of straw and crap and yeah, you don't let the door go open very far. Yeah, I hate working in the dark. Just hate it. Can't see what you're doing. Ooh. What are these? I doubt these boxes are big enough for teeth. No. Crap. Uh, he probably forgot to order them. But, yeah. What are these? Oh, them are, them are tetter teeth for that. Uh, and 3417. Other boxes of them red ones up there. No, them sound more like bolts of teeth. Gosh darn it. Oh, there they are in a box. Well, I kind of figured they'd be in a box, but eh, we'll start with hang on. Good, more teeth, yes. Last rake all washed up. I put it in the shop so we can start working on it. I got the rakes in here, waiting for the shop to warm up a little bit, knock the chill off the thing. It's just, yeah. It's cold out this morning. I think it was like, well, what's the phone say? 36 degrees. 36 degrees, holy crap. That's only supposed to get a high of like 58 today. Yeah, we need a little bit of heat this morning. Just like I said, a little bit to knock and chill off of things. And then we'll shut it back off when, you know, it gets sufficiently warm in here. Let's see, we can find a half inch. Wrench that fits these teeth. Uh, yeah, plus want to let these rakes dry off a little bit because, uh, yeah, there's no sense working on wet rakes. It's just, and that's too big. Let's see, which one's it gonna be? up the 916s but I'm not gonna take all of them off I'm just gonna go and look for for broken teeth is all that I'm gonna do and these things these socket organizers yeah they're the they're the cat's meow uh, all you do just say oh I need wanna you know 916 socket boom there got it you're done yeah yeah I love these things. These things are are a blessing in disguise for a, for a farmer 
farm employee with visual impairments. All right, so it's a comfortable 60 degrees in here. I'm fine with that. So what I'm gonna do is what I am doing and have, ouch. What I am doing, what thing is bolted on there? We, I, oh, I know why, because we lost it. Okay. Or no, that's just the back part of it, isn't it? Yeah, there. Um, what I am doing and have started doing with my YouTube channel is making playlists, okay? Making playlists of like working on equipment, greasing equipment. So that way, if there's any guys like you that, you know, how do I grease this? How do I, where's the grease fittings? You know, boom. I can go to Northeast Tell Farmer, look in his playlist that is either, you know, greasing equipment, maintaining equipment, something to do with equipment, it'll be titled. Um, so, yeah. Without that, with that out of the way, um, what I'm gonna do is, I got tape on here. I'm gonna start where I put the tape. Don't tell me my tape got washed. Oh, there's my tape. There's the tape I put on about five years ago. I put the tape on five years ago because I'm going to tell you guys that if you have you, any of you ever changed rake teeth, you will confuse yourself ever so easy on which bar you're on and which bar you need to be on, and then, you know, where you started and stopped. Um, I just did that for my own sake because, you know, it's, it's easier to just go down through here, you know, yeah, there's a war out, or a bent one, but we're not worried about bent, well, we are worried about bent teeth, but, you know, Teeth that are worn like that, they're fine. Um, yeah, there's a bent one. They'll get bent here or there, but you know. So this bar is done. This bar is done, and I put tape on this end too, because you never know which end you're gonna go to. You flip it up. One bar, and there's a broken one there. So it will get changed, and, the, and so forth, and so thus down the line you go. And then, the older rake over there, I would do the same thing to it. So, I already know one big change that's gonna happen for, Lord willing, we're still here in 2023, which things are getting uglier. Oh, they're getting uglier by the day, but it is, it is what it is and I know I just probably did a bad thing by beating on the threads. Eh. But. Yeah. Um, is I'm going to buy one of them. The magnetic tool. The magnetic tool holder things that, you know, you can stick to metal. And uh, it'll hold like your tools and stuff like that. I haven't been anywhere to, about to look for one. I doubt Tractor Supply would have one. Ooh, ooh, hang on, hang on, hang on, I got an idea. See, ADHD, ADD, is, it says, I need this, and then it says, stop what you're doing and look at what you're doing, or look it up. Yeah, 17 bucks, that ain't bad. That really ain't bad. So we're making headway. Had to do two teeth already. Uh, well, I got extras. I well, I don't know. To change that floppy one or let it go. Yeah, I say we'll let it go for right now. 
might come back to it later. But you just basically just go down the line, flip your bar, uh, do the same thing, look down through, make sure all the teeth are in line. Like I said before, the bent ones don't really matter. get back to your tape there's a starting point again and then sometimes you know they won't come right off so you need a little persuasion just like that so I'm not happy with this craftsman how it you can run it for like three seconds and then it quits we'll get something done no we would get something done if we had a Milwaukee there now we'll get something done I just hope it fits where I need it to fit compared to the compared to the craftsman we will find out and I just put my hand in a big old goober goobery galaba grease but that's all right oh yeah didn't even hesitate taking it off actually what you do when you got a bolt that's stuck like that keep on backing them out put the new one in the main point is you can see you can see there's a rust spot right there right there what you want to do is make sure you got your tooth point in the right way which it would be this way because it would be the same as the others take and line it up with the rust spot on the rake stick your bolt back in now you might have to give a little bit of persuasion as in like bending the tooth back up or something to get these to fit because they are snug these uh aren't the right kind of teeth for this rake the ones that are supposed to be on it are are metal teeth and yeah we don't like metal teeth Break that thing in half. Oh no. Oh no. Oops. Well, I guess that the wall is too strong for this job. Well, there went a $3 bolt. Yeah, or a, ah, oh, shoot. Got me a bolt, but no nut. Yeah, so. Yeah, I'm just doing some, some thinking. Okay. <clears throat> it needs a little bit of persuasion. And I got my hammer here. I'm gonna use the ever so gently. 
I know you guys are probably saying, oh, you're, you're screwing the, thread, the threads up. I've had my range. I've had my range. Yeah. I have found my ranch. <laughs> it's stuck on the back side of the boat. Right there. Well, I was waiting for this stupid crapsman impact gun to uh, make up its mind what the heck it was gonna do. Yeah, I get, think I had a battery going bad. <laughs> but that's tight enough anywho. Oh, <sighs> yeah. Oh, what fun. I mean, yeah, that is the worst thing about Craftsman batteries that there is. I mean, I never invented it. Uh, yeah, you take and you can put it on the charger there and let it charge. Um, no, I think it ain't even charging, is it? Oh, good grief. I think so faded that uh, I don't know what we got going here. Yeah, I guess it's charging. Will this one get me the rest of the way done? Because I really don't want to keep snapping bolts with the DeWalt. That just isn't good. I mean, yeah. I like DeWalt because, you know, they have light up LED indicators, just like my Milwaukee. All right, so that job is all done. Oop, pick my broken one up here. Get along with the inch hammer. With some grease in them, and I should have put a battery charger on that 3010 while I was doing this. I, yeah. But hopefully it'll start because it was, it's been running for two hours since from 6 to 7.30. No, it'd only be like an hour and a half. Like I said before, time to grease and we need some gloves. We need some gloves, um, even though we got some red grease. Uh, yeah. And leave it to me to try and open a box of grease. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I think I still got some grease in my grease gun yet. I like using uh, my Milwaukee to grease. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with this one, but when this one's out of grease, I just like to get my Milwaukee and use it. There it is. My grease gun. And it stays clean. I mean, yeah, anybody that knows me knows that I got spot grease right there. Bad, 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 bad. Mm. Anybody that knows me knows that I take really, really good care of my stuff. Which is why this is not going to the pit to be used to grease unless I'm the only one greasing around the plant and stuff. Yeah, because I don't want them idiots getting the thing all yicked up with grease and all that. For the life of me, I cannot get this high pressure end off this thing. I just can't to change it out. I've stripped it out and everything else. Yeah, gonna have to go get me a replacement hose at, uh, from Amazon. Don't see a part number on this. If anybody is out there. Oh wait, what's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? What do I see? You can buy these off Amazon. 
Yay Kim. Somehow these springs got bent as I tried to prop you guys up on a round on a round bar to try and demonstrate what this thing is doing. Actually, I think I'm out of grease to start with. That's how I'm gonna put it. Then the next one, I don't know where I'm gonna put it. <laughs> I now fully understand why my father likes to cram stuff into building. So you can make more floor space here to get corn fodder out if you ever have to. Instead of just letting the stuff set in the middle of the floor. It makes perfect sense now why he does that.